and this was see-through. I'll tell y'all that right now. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy and I'm so glad that you are here. In today's video, we are doing an Arola review. So I have created an Arola video in the past. It is doing real well. I'm not gonna lie, y'all made it pop off. So Arola actually reached out to your girl to send her a couple of pieces from their Dream and Camo collection and their Earth Bra collection. I have a lot of colorways. I have a lot of thoughts, a lot of opinions, and I cannot wait to get all up into it. So Let's do just that. These pieces, by the way, are actually already live on the website. They were a part of the August launch, which I really should have made this video two months ago, but I was so busy with traveling and work that I just could not find the time to do it. But here we are now. So with that being said, if y'all do want to shop some of these pieces, I do not have a link or a code with Arola directly, but all these pieces are in my Amazon storefront. So you can just shop through my storefront if you do want to support me. And yeah, they're just all linked right there. I don't really know how Amazon on storefronts work. I just kind of link them for people. If y'all want to use it, then y'all can use it. But yeah. Anywho, let's talk about sizing. Some of these pieces are actually a size small. Maybe it's just one of them. I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll just make sure to tell you guys, but I'm typically a size extra small in the shorts and a size small in the bras. And then here are my little measurements. I'll put them on either side of the screen just so y'all could see. But anywho, let's just get into it. Whether or not you are new to Arola, let's just give a little refresher as to the shorts that broke the friggin' internet. Introducing the Arola Intensify Shorts four and a half inch shorts, by the way, they are almost an identical dupe to the Alpha Lead Amplifies, which is why they are doing so freaking well. But essentially it is a completely seamless short. This looks very similar to charcoal from Alpha Lead, And I honestly couldn't tell you a difference whenever I held them up side by side because I also have charcoal in Alpha Lead. but I digress. It features a three column waistband, which again, we know is pretty signature to Alpha Elite Amplified. No front seam at all. It has mesh paneling on the sides just to, I actually don't know why that's there, but mesh paneling on the side. And then once you turn to the back, you have a roll of stitched in, so it is not coming out, girl. But it has that ribbed detailing going all the way down to the scrunch, so that way it can just amplify the glutes. Then you have the booty scrunch, which is a five column scrunch. I know Alpha Elite's is four columns, but Arola's is five. And then the scrunch actually does not connect to the gusset at all. So that way you're not having to worry about anything ripping. With that being said, this is a very, very solid dupe for Amplifies. I have not shopped Alpha Elite Amplifies since Arola. So that should tell you a lot because I love my Alpha Elite Amplifies. So, if we move on to the Dream Collection and compare the two, first and foremost, let's just hold them up side by side. Both of these shorts are extra small for your reference. The waistband size is the exact same, but the biggest stark difference that I really do not like is that they got rid of the friggin' three-tier waistband and now it's a two-tier. I'm like, why did y'all have to go doing that? Because the three-tier, there was nothing wrong with her. We loved her, she was perfect, and y'all just had to go ahead and take it away and just make it into two. I just liked how it gradually got more tapered because as we know, the higher up you go in the tiered waistband, the thicker the ribbing is, so it cinches your waist in more. Whereas with these, I feel like they don't cinch my waist in as much just because there is so much space between this bottom tier right here versus the top that it's not really giving what it's supposed to give. You know, it had more potential. And then also the waistband is slightly shorter as well, which in that case, I do like just because I have a shorter torso. So with the original ones, I always have to roll them down. I always have to roll every legging down just because my torso is so short but with these I don't have to roll them down as much just because they are a little bit shorter they actually got rid of the side paneling on the dream collection as well but not only that you guys not only that these are so much freaking shorter these are a three and a half inch inseam guys versus the intensifies at a four and a half inch inseam I'm like guys what are we doing why are we regressing instead of progressing? I just can't do a short inseam and my legs are a little bit longer for my height, but still, I just can't do the shorts that roll up your cheeks and ugh, it's just not giving. So in case you didn't know before, now you know, three and a half, four and a half. So there's that. If we turn to the back, there is that little bit of ribbed detailing that kind of contours the top of the glutes. And then you have a four column scrunch. So like I mentioned before, Intensivize have a five column scrunch. These have a four column. Overall, the material does feel a lot different. I will go ahead and put a clip over here or so just to kind of show you all the difference. But this is a lot more slick feeling, whereas the Intensifies were a lot more of that typical seamless type of feeling where 
it's very stretchy, very soft, but these just feel slick. They feel a little bit more performancey, to be honest. This is straight up just a very finely woven, seamless, performancey type of material that's very, very smooth to the touch and almost shiny. It's almost shiny, I'm not gonna lie. So I hope that the video does it justice so y'all could see exactly what I'm talking about. But overall, these did roll up on me a lot. I think it's because of that material being a lot more thin, a lot more sleek and smooth to the touch. But man, I'll show y'all in the squat test right now, but Jesus. It rolled up like a mother effer, like it was not gonna stay in them thighs at all. Whereas the Intensifies did a lot better job of actually staying in place. And here are all the colors that got sent to me. I will put the names of them in these slides as well, but we have this beautiful lime green color. She is see-through. <laughs> we have this amazing blue color that is just so vibrant. Like, wow, talk about a freaking royal blue. This beautiful forest green, which this is one of my favorite colors to wear because I just think it's so flattering on my skin tone. This purple is one of my favorites. It is a very bright lilac purple. And this, I can't remember if it was squat proof on me or not. I think that it was. I have this amazing red color, very much a wine red type of color. And then last but not least, a simple gray. Very, very staple color. And this was see-through. I'll tell y'all that right now. I think Aurora kind of knew that they weren't going to be squat proof, so they just sized up for me, and it actually did gape just a little bit in the back. There is a bit of a difference in how it feels whenever I wear a small versus an extra small. Obviously, extra small is gonna be a little bit tighter. I felt like these didn't cinch my thighs in as much, which I liked. It was just the gaping in the back that kind of threw me off to a small, but here's me lining up a small behind an extra small. There is a solid almost inch of difference between these two waistbands. So yeah, it is definitely very loose compared to the extra small, whereas the extra small is kind of constricting, you know? And then in terms of the length difference, nothing too crazy at all, probably half a centimeter. Okay, the weirdest freaking thing is happening right now because I'm measuring these inseams and on Arola's website and on Amazon, they list the intensifies, the original ones, as a four and a half inch inseam, but I don't know where they're measuring that from because I'm measuring it at the center of the gusset, like where my vagine sits, and it's it's definitely saying six inches. Like we're not tripping, right? We, we definitely see that that says six inches. If you look at the dream collection, this was advertised as a three and a half inch inseam. Do my eyes deceive me or does that say literally five? Cause that says five in my eyes. Also the same thing for the new camo shorts. I believe they advertised this as a four and a half or three and a half inch inseam as well. And that definitely says five. What is happening? I'm so confused. I'm looking at their post right now and it literally says right here, it intensifies 3.6 inches and that's literally over five inches inches next to the dream. I'm talking about this one versus this one, right? And this one says 3.6, but that literally, it says over five inches right there. 4.5, that literally is over that amount. It's like six inches right there. I literally don't understand where they're getting these numbers from. Like dream is five inches for the inseam. Whereas intensify is more like a six inch inseam and the camo is five inches. If you're in between sizes, I would definitely say size up because it has more compression and less stretch than the originals, which is why I like the original ones more. There is the final verdict on the inseam and the sizing for this collection. Moving on to camo. I am absolutely obsessed with the camo, you guys. This is what she looks like in the sage green color. She is gorgeous and it actually feels almost the same to the original Intensify ones that I showed y'all in that charcoal type of color down to the hand feel as well but the camo is just a little bit thicker than the originals so actually let me just go ahead and hold up the waistbands for you guys to see but if you look at the waistbands here the green is definitely a little bit thicker than the originals and if you even turn it to the side you can tell that it's just the slightest bit thicker as well but overall the waistband is actually the same size as the original intensifies which I like if we look here it's just the little ribbing inside that gives off that camo type design it is all over the short where there's just a little bit of different colored ribbing to emphasize that camo design that they have going on. Again, it does have the two tier waistband instead of the three. So that's gonna be very similar to the Dream Collection. But if we turn to the back here, you'll see that the Arola logo is actually the same color as the shorts, which I really like because for those of y'all who don't want a logo that's gonna be all up in your face, this one's gonna be for you. It also does have a five column scrunch instead of the four column like 
the dream. So again, similar to the OGs, it does not connect to the gusset at all. And there is that ribbed detailing to kind of contour the glutes as well. I really like this otherwise. I have this in an extra small and this coffee color also in an extra small. Oh my God, I love this like rich dark brown color. And then I have a fiery fiery red color. She's very, very bright. Overall, these three colors were squat proof on me. These in the dream collection are more prone to showing cellulite. These in the camo collection are less prone just because they're so much thicker. All right. And the last thing I have here are these freaking earth sports bras, which I'm also obsessed with. <laughs> I like a lot of this stuff. So this is actually not from Arola. This is from Crop Shop Boutique. These two bras are actually dupes for the Crop Shop Boutique bra. This is a size small. This is a size extra small. And this one, the blue one is a size small. So let's just compare the two because as we can see here, it has a little scoop neck with very thin straps. Turn to the back, it has the mesh lining on the inside, removable cup pads, and this beautiful crisscross detail as well with a logo right here. And if we look at our Rolas, it's literally the exact same all the way down to the hand feel of how the material is. It's very much a brushed material, very thin and lightweight. Has the mesh on the inside, y'all. Thin straps as well with the Arola Dragon logo right there, which does kind of wash off in the washer because I have the same one in blue and it literally came off super easy. With that being said, let's compare the small from Crop Shop to the small from Arola. There is a significant difference, you guys. When I say that there is so much more space in this sports bra, I like the Arola ones so much more than the Crop Shop because one, it's at a fraction of the price. Two, it just has so much more length and it has overall more coverage for the bust. I felt like I was being squeezed in the freaking Crop Shop one, you guys, whereas with the Arola one, I was not afraid of bending over or anything at all. I could do my exercises regularly without feeling like I was gonna spill out or flash anybody. Arola did send me an extra small. I don't know why. This fits a lot more similarly to the Crop Shop Boutique one. As you can see, they are literally the same length in the extra small, which I can still wear this, but I obviously, if I had the choice, I would have sized up to a size small. So the Arola one has a lot more coverage, y'all. It doesn't look like much here, but I promise you whenever you have it on, you can tell the friggin' difference between the two because you just feel more covered. If you're in between sizes, I would definitely say to size up, but otherwise, stay true to size. All I'm saying is that I need more colors, guys. I'll roll up. What's up? With that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what other videos y'all would like to see. If there is a brand that y'all want me to review, then pop it in the comments below. I am always down to taking suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video for more content from me. But I will talk to y'all so, so soon. So, peace.